<laughs> Azan. Anyway, um, I gotta, I gotta take this little one out right now because she's now quiet. While I play you, Steven Crowder's Living. divorce. And, ah, hey, hey, Kyle. Hold on. Oh, she laid down. Okay, good. With a proverbial boot on my neck for going on years now. Uh, since He's a divorced dad. I've been living through what has increasingly been a horrendous divorce. Now, let me say on the outset, to be clear, there is no infidelity, any kind of physical abuse at all on either side. And no, this was not uh, my choice. My then wife decided that she didn't want to be married anymore. And in the state of Texas, that is completely permitted. It's been the most heartbreaking experience of my life. What I consider to be my deepest personal failure. And just so you know, my opinions on parenting and families have not changed. Um, I've always believed that children need a mom and a dad, that divorce is horrible. And I still believe that children need a mom and a dad and that divorce is horrible. But in today's legal system, my beliefs don't matter. In Texas, divorce is permitted when one party wants it, period. So for well over a year, uh, well over a year, in the best interest as well as physical safety of my children, we've decided to keep this issue private and to resolve it uh, privately with the appropriate attorneys, what have you, legal jargon. Now, in all this, one thing I want to be really clear about is certain. True North here is that my children are blameless, completely without fault, and so we decided to resolve these issues privately as it's in their best interests, uh, both emotionally and physically, to do so. Now, the other issue is, and this is something that I've kept private for likely far too long, um, many other people knew about this behind the scenes. Some, not all, but some of them in positions of power, influence, leverage, knew of this. They also knew that the safety of my children included keeping it private. So if you're familiar with the idea of extortion, then you know the feeling well. Uh, now, some of these threats were so thinly veiled that I'm frankly surprised you didn't all guess immediately. Stephen has a lot going on. I guess it's the best way to say it. He has a lot going on, and that should be clear because people don't do stuff like this if there's not a lot going on in their lives. I would like to implore my audience and everybody that isn't paying attention to this situation not to condemn him, but to pray for him. Sometimes people need a prayer. Sometimes people need a scripture. You know, Stephen purports to be a Christian. I am unsure at this moment if, if it is my place to say more than that. You know, maybe if I feel in further defense, some things should be said, or maybe if I feel that the public has a right to understand certain circumstances. Oh, my children have a right to privacy. Now, some other uh, issues have been, uh, or I should say, uh, inferences have been more pernicious behind the scenes with demands and threats to use this information that they believe would be uh, so publicly embarrassing to me and my wife at a difficult time that it could be used, knowingly putting my children in harm's way. So to those self-styled Christians, conservatives, and allies, well, not in my book. Now, if you find yourself, I, I don't want to get into details, so this is going to le likely be the only time I have to address this or want to address this. If you're asking yourself, hey, did X person or did Y person know? The answer is likely yes. Wow, it's really fucked up that Candace Owens is uh, using Steven Crowder's uh, divorce as a, as a way to, like, extort him. Uh, what I find really weird about this process is that he basically implied in the beginning here that divorce should be considered, like, illegal in Texas? Uh, Wait, let's run that back. Twenty twenty-one. I've been living through what has increasingly been a horrendous divorce. Now, let me say on the outset, to be clear, there is no infidelity, any kind of physical abuse at all on either side. And no, this was not uh, my choice. My then wife decided that she didn't want to be married anymore. And in the state of Texas, that is completely permitted. It's been the most heartbreaking experience of my life.
No, yeah, it's just completely permitted in the state of Texas. Like, what the fuck do you mean, dog? You want it to be like what? Enforced at gunpoint? It's so crazy. It's actually fucking insane that like he he implies that, dude. Like, what the fuck? Oh no, math jokes, Pentagon, Hexagon, Octagon, my wife is gone. Oh no. Oh no. I have to pee so bad. He expressed frustration that even if only she wanted the divorce, it can still go through. That's actually so fucking gross. Yeah, I mean, he just literally thinks like oh, the old ball and chain, right? Uh, am I right? As in like, as in like literally, I want a ball and chain. Like, why can't I fucking ball and chain my goddamn wife? What I consider to be... As Oh, my children have a right to privacy. Now, some other uh, issues have been, uh, or I should... Pretty funny, yeah. Stephen Crowder stating over and over again that he's mad that his wife isn't legally obligated to stay with him is so fucking funny. The whole video seems like it would be on cinema at the cinema bit. <sighs> Sam Cedars... I want to say, just for the record, I had nothing to do with this. Oh, I've Jesus. never met uh the former mrs crowder yeah. that it wasn't like i i don't know if she saw what happened when stephen came on there maybe i would imagine it's not inconceivable to me that somebody could see their husband run in that way and feel like you know this is a sort of a force majeure the type of you ever see that movie no force majeure um where you see like an essential uh, an essential weakness in uh your your per your person or a flaw mm -hmm. and you can't get past it she got I, the ick I, I just want to say that was never my intention i know people <laughs> say like oh you sent steven crowder into the hospital and that may be true uh it might uh, like yeah you'll take credit for that i may have yeah. caved i may have caved his chest it wasn't my intention it wasn't my intention and but I would hate to think that I was responsible for diminishing him in his wife's eyes. Diminishing him in his wife's eyes. Uh, here uh, is Sam Cedar lying about not being at fault for uh, ruining the the marriage of our favorite conservative. Some of our faves have been hurt. Divorce can be a difficult time for many, Hassan. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. Except in this instance, like, this is a real divorce. You know what I mean? This is like married with children type shit. Oh, my God. She's going fucking crazy mode. Oh, no. Uh, Sam is, of course, making a joke about how he uh, destroyed Steven Crowder by simply appearing on the H3H3 broadcast. Glad Crowder clarified several times that the divorce wasn't his kid's fault. Everyone watching was thinking, I bet this is Stephen Crowder's kid's fault. Unfortunately, the law doesn't let me force my wife to stay with me. Freaking nature shit. Not even, because say, that's what he believes. My wife and allies, well, not in my book. Now, if you find yourself, I, I don't want to get into details, so this is going to likely be the only time I have to address this or want to address this. If you're asking yourself, hey, did X person or did Y person know? The answer is likely yes which will be made alarmingly clear as this process of discovery continues. Uh, and it also, by the way, makes me that much more appreciative of those who did know about this and in understanding the best interests of my family, my children, kept their word and used discretion. Uh, I can't thank you enough. Sincerely, I appreciate it, won't forget it. It's, it's pretty simple. Um, I loved a woman so much that I married her. A woman who, despite all of this, I still love as the mother of my children. And she wanted something else for her life. That's not my choice. She simply wanted out. Yeah, I wonder. Yeah, I mean, she probably fucking did not like being married, being forced into like a legally binding contract uh, with a dude who has like a lot of confusion about his own sexuality. I would love to hear from her. Uh, says that that's how it works. Now, of course, look, I get it. There are multiple sides to every story, but one thing that is undeniable. Uh, in this case, is that it's no one's fault but my own in that I picked wrong, and that's certainly not the fault of my children. And uh, I will say that what's in the best interest of my children um, is not internet drama, speculation, 
Certainly not blatant or veiled shakedowns or dragging their father or mother. Bro, the way he's talking about this fucking marriage is so funny. Like, he said he picked wrong. Like, marriage is supposed to be about picking a person with, like, who will stay with you regardless of how fucking awful you are. Like, okay, how about you, like, I don't know, change whatever fucking behaviors that you exhibited that made it so that, like, your wife didn't want to fucking stay with you even though you had kids. And I can't be clear on that enough. Or their mother threw the mud. And to anyone who tries it, I'm no longer going to pacify, capitulate, or sidestep oh, because... I love them a whole lot more than I love you. <laughs> Hold on. She just dropped the Boeing fucking... Dude, what the fuck? She going crazy back here. Did you guys see that? Hey, enough. Okay, okay. She's be getting really unruly. And I want to cover this really bad. I think I'm just going to play the fucking vlog for a little bit and get into some more fun shit in a second because, like, I have to take her outside to, like run with her a little bit so she like chills the fuck oh. out you know what i mean um like i know the cam isn't up but you could see it from the corner of my camera and i will continue to do whatever is necessary to protect my children discussing the divorce any further on social media or on this show or in any public space is not what's best for them i'll be handling this through the proper legal avenues and channels available as a matter of record in which i have more than full confidence so I'd ask that you understand the need for and uh, respect our privacy in what is obviously a pretty tough time. And I hope that none of this has to go any further than that. Anyway, Steven should stay away from children in general. Yeah, even his own, apparently. Um, are there additional details that I'm not privy to with respect to this? Because, like, the only thing I've seen is, like, Candace Owens chirping about it and then Steven Crowder crying about it. Um, but is there anything else, like... You can use your phone and call yourself on Discord and stream that for outside. I don't think I can do that. Just this. I heard that Stephen Crowder's wife has finally met a man that could satisfy her. She was attracted to him when Stephen refuses to debate him live on air. What the fuck? Oh, it's Sam Cedar. Okay. These guys never stop and wonder why poison so rarely gets used for murder these days. That's actually a really good take, like straight up. Yeah, back in the day, you would hear about like mysterious poisonings happening in the household way more. I guess like, yeah, I guess that's like a benefit. I guess divorce court does benefit men in that, reg uh, in that respect. Why are you so obsessed with Steven and five foot trans men? What? Hi. Uh, I'm not really, I haven't really covered Steven Crowder all that much, uh, lately. I know that this is like a, a cynical way to ask this question. Like, I know you're trying to probably get like a rise out of me or something. I don't know what you mean by five foot trans men. That's I'm a, I'm not a rightist. Don't ban me. No rise. I'm sorry. Anyway. Here's what Candace Owens' claim was, uh, or Candace Owens' response was to uh, Stephen Jebediah Crowder's uh, uh, claims about how she's, like, utilizing this divorce. That's it. That's the big scary story. I then went onto my platform, and I said, pray for Stephen Crowder, honestly, because that's what he needs. He needs a prayer. Okay, let's be real. You hit him with a bless your heart. Like, that wasn't a fucking genuine prayer. That was like a fuck you, you fucking piece of shit type beat, Okay. Come on. And now. apparently nobody's answering those prayers right now because he's still acting erratic. He's now upping the ante and suggesting that I extorted him. I will not take that lightly. OK, I am not Hillary Crowder. I am not anybody in his family. I am not going to take somebody going onto his platform and alleging that I either harassed, threatened or did anything that would put his children at risk. That is very serious stuff that he is saying. And so what I did this morning after this clip was sent to me is I contacted a defamation lawyer and I am sending Stephen Crowder a cease and desist. And I'm going to demand a full throated retraction to the idea that Candace Owens threatened him or extorted him. And not that I simply did a little math. One plus one equals two. A Interesting. Uh, Stephen Crowder, uh, I'm getting reports that Stephen Crowder tweeted this while they were uh, in the process of divorce. Hmm. 
Very interesting that uh, he tweeted this at the uh, during uh, the divorce proceedings. Ay, 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 I hate this fucking shit. Like, view the tweet. Oh, God. And then it says, when I hit the view the tweet, like, it literally uh, opens up my entire timeline. Like, what if I fucking... Cyberbullying is a crime, Hassan? Yeah, I mean, I'm not even cyberbullying him. I'm just... A crazy man doing these sorts of things to his friends obviously means that something is going on personally. Honestly, this time, I'm not even going to suggest anybody should pray for him. I am so deeply troubled by the idea. Oh, no. He said this as well. This is how right wingers fight. Meanwhile, left to say shit like you have uh, abandoned the cause of the people and we'll be the first up on the wall when your time when our time comes. Yeah, because leftists are fucking weirdo LARPers who fantasize about a future that never existed. Meanwhile, right wingers have all the power and don't even know what to do with it. Noah Hassan, you got it wrong. Um, it was BLM. Oh. My wife, unfortunately, is legally allowed to leave the mug club at any time. Oh, my God. That's devastating. My wife is leaving me. Change her mind. Why are you following him? I follow a litany of right-wing freaks. Uh, it's uh, very fun. Uh, they make a lot of content. They're more fun than the boring-ass liberals who I don't agree with either. At least they say, like, unhinged shit that I find to be rather funny. Liberals every now and then will come out of the gate swinging with like a funny thing, like Zenny Jardin or whatever. You know what I mean? Who who will <coughs> like liberals will liberals will sometimes tweet out like funny unhinged shit, but rarely. You know what I mean? It's always like boring. They take themselves too seriously. Right wingers take themselves seriously as well, but they're like unintentionally hilarious all the fucking time. Yeah, Zenny Jardin with the famous, what set you from, homie? Or wasn't it also Zenny Jardin who said like, uh, fuck, she was the one who was like, I'm not going to watch uh, uh, Black Panther on opening week because that's for black people. Like she was, didn't she say something like that? Wasn't that Zenny Jardin too? Oh my God. I just wish women understood how much men love them and want them to be the women they were designed to be. Oh, that one. Oh, brother, that one's bad. Oh, that's going on the thread. Teardrops on my guitar ass tweets. Yeah. Someone should do a divorce fan cam. That meme hurts so much and I'm not even him. Notice you've been coughing a lot more recently. Hope you're doing well. Yes, I said I'm sick. Stop bullying this nice gay Canadian man. Women are doing less work at home. They're unhappier. We already, that's how I started that off. He said this during the divorce is, 
Uh, interesting that to tweet this out while you were going through divorce court, women are less happy than ever recorded in modern history. Feminism isn't working. Um, he has tweeted a lot about divorce dog. He's tweeted a lot about feminism and divorce in general and like women's unhappiness. But I guess that kind of makes sense because like, um, I guess that kind of makes sense because like Steven Crowder is, you know, personally responsible for at least one woman that we know of being deeply unhappy. Also, we are very close to fucking uh, already ratioing. Oh, yeah, he's about to change his fucking Twitter profile. Um, we're very close to all, uh, uh, we're very close to ratioing uh, Ben Shabibo. How was it possible that he was trying to sub his ex-wife, Lamau, the mother of his kids, on Maine like a 13-year-old breaking up with a five-month relationship? Um, I think he, I mean, he very obviously put it all out there. By the way, thank you for that, Steven. I don't know why you did that, but you could have just been like, yeah, I'm going through divorce. Everyone suck my dick. Shut the fuck up. It happens to more than 50% of people that get married. Um... amazingly transparent about his divorced dad rage. If men have no say on abortion, women have no say on child support and alimony. Fair compromise? Look at all these fucking like Twitter blue recipients, by the way. Oh my God. Every fucking top reply is like littered with the, some of the worst freaks. I swear to God. They're all like, yeah, this is true, Steven. They ain't going to like that cuz like, oh my fucking God, shut up. Would explain why he covered the woke M and M's like he lost a bet. Oh no! Look at this one. Oh no, dude! Steven Crowder was like basically masking his personal feelings about his like ongoing divorce while like cutting it like you know commentary. You know what I mean? Like he was just like literally just this was like Deborah, please watch this. Deborah, I hope you're fucking re listening. You know what I mean? <laughs> 